in this lecture we are going to discuss two topics first one is fibonacci numbers and ldes the other one is solution of lde in more than two variables we know a linear diffenden equation has the form ax plus by equal to c now consider a linear diffenden equation of this form fn plus 1 into x plus fn into y equal to c where fn is the nth fibonacci number and fn plus 1 is the n, n plus 1th fibonacci number we know uh, the fibonacci numbers are f1 equal to 1 f2 equal to 1 and fn is equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 etc so uh, we have the fibonacci numbers are 1 1 then 1 plus 1 that is 2 then 1 plus 2 that is 3 then 2 plus 3 that is 5 3 plus 5 that is 8 etc these are the fibonacci numbers this is f1 this is f2 this is f3 etc so consider the lde using this fibonacci numbers that is fn and fn plus 1 that is the consecutive fibonacci numbers we know Uh, any two consecutive fibonacci numbers are relatively prime that is fn plus 1 gcd of fn plus 1 comma fn is equal to 1 we already proved this so the this lde is solvable so this lde is solvable because this fn plus 1 and fn are uh, relatively prime we have the theorem 3.19 that uh, uh, states that if ab equal to 1 that is if a and b are relatively prime then this lde is solvable and it has the infinitely many solutions so by using that theorem 3.19 we get this function this lde is solvable now we have by cassini's formula we have n fn plus 1 into fn minus 1 minus fn square is equal to minus 1 power n we have this is the cassini's formula suppose n is even if n is even we have minus 1 power n is equal to 1 itself so we have fn plus 1 plus into fn minus 1 minus fn square is equal to 1 so multiply our aim is to find the solution of this lde so uh, you just multiply this equation with the c okay so because here we here we have c so multiplying this equation with the c we get c equal to fn plus 1 into c into fn minus 1 minus fn into c into fn that is c in the fn square is equal to c so actually we are finding the solution of this lde so we can take fn plus 1 and fn outside from this so here actually when we multiply throughout by c we get c into fn plus 1 fn minus 1 minus c into fn square equal to 1 so taking in this form in this form we can take fn plus 1 and fn outside from this terms so fn plus 1 into c into fn minus 1 and plus fn into minus c into fn is equal to c so from this we get x not equal to this and y not equal to this is a particular solution of the lde okay so x not equal to c into fn minus 1 y not equal to minus c into fn is a particular solution of the given lde if uh, uh, n is even now if n is odd we have minus 1 power n is equal to minus 1 if n is odd so we have this equation implies fn plus 1 into fn minus 1 minus fn square is equal to minus 1 so first we multiplying throughout by minus 1 we get fn plus 1 into a minus fn minus 1 plus fn square is equal to 1 now multiplying throughout by c we get c c into fn plus 1 or minus c into fn plus 1 fn minus 1 Plus c into f n square equal to c. So taking f n plus one uh, from this term and taking f n from this term, we get f n plus one into minus c into f n plus one, f n minus one, plus f n into c into f n is equal to c. So we get x not equal to this, y not equal to this is a particular solution of this LDE when n is odd. Okay, so this is a solution when n is odd. For example, consider the LDE thirty four x plus 21y equal to 70. Okay, 34x plus 21y equal to 70. Here we have uh, a equal to 34, b equal to 21, and c equal to 70. We know ninth Fibonacci number f9 is 34, and seventh Fibonacci number that is f7 is 13, and eighth Fibonacci number is 21. So we have f9 into f7 minus f8 square is equal to 34 into 
13 minus 21 whole square which is equal to negative 1 power 8 this is by Cassini's formula we have by Cassini's formula we have fn plus 1 into fn minus 1 minus fn square is equal to minus 1 power n so here f uh, n is equal to 8 that is fn plus 1 into fn minus 1 minus fn square so n is equal to 8 here this is equal to minus 1 power 8 okay you can just verify the value of uh, this uh, Fibonacci numbers so here n equal to 8 so we have this value of this equal to minus 1 power 8 this is by Cassini's formula and here we have c equal to 70 from the above study we have the solution is when n is uh, even we have the solution is x naught equal to the particular solution is x naught equal to c into fn minus 1 and y naught equal to minus c into fn so we have here the solution is x naught equal to c into fn minus 1 y naught equal to minus c into fn when n is odd uh, when n is even so here we have x naught is equal to c into fn minus 1 fn minus 1 is actually f7 here so c into f7 c equal to 17 so 17 into 13 which is equal to 221 and y naught is equal to minus c into fn that is minus c into f8 because n equal to 1 n equal to 8 so this is minus 17 into 21 that is minus 357 so we obtained uh, a particular solution as x naught equal to 221 and y naught is equal to minus 357 so we have the general solution is nothing but x equal to x naught plus bt and y equal to y naught minus at because a equal to 4, 34 we have here and it b equal to 21 we have x naught plus bt equal to 221 plus bt that is 21t and y equal to y naught minus at that is minus 357 minus a equal to 34 here so minus 34t so this is the general solution of the this LDE so we can uh, connect this LDE with Fibonacci numbers so some LDEs can be uh, solved by using the Fibonacci numbers next we have a theorem the LDE a1 x1 plus a2 x2 etc a n x n equal to c is solvable if and only if the GCD of a1, a2, a3, etc. a n divides c. a1 is the coefficient of x1, a2 is the coefficient of x2, etc. a n is the coefficient of xn. So this uh, LDE, this is this is a linear definite equation in n variables x1, x2, etc. xn. This is solvable if and only if uh, the GCD of these coefficient numbers that is a1, a2, etc. a n divides this c. So if, if it is solvable, then it has infinitely many solutions. So this is actually a generalization of or, or extension of the theorem 3.19. In the theorem 3.19, we already uh, learned that uh, the LDE AX plus BY equal to C is solvable if and only if GCD of A and B divides C. This was the theorem 3.9. Uh, this is actually for two variables x and y. Now this is an x. This theorem 3.20 is an extension of this theorem for more than two variables. So to prove this, you can just use the mathematical induction. Okay, I'm leaving to you. Now we can discuss an example using this theorem. Determine whether the LD is 6x plus 8y plus 12 is it is equal to 10, and 6x plus 12y plus 15 is it 10 equal 10 are solvable so we have we are given two LDs so uh, we need to check whether these LDs are solvable or not so first one we have 6x plus 8y plus 12z is equal to 10 we have three variables here x y and z here we have the coefficients a1 is equal to 6 a2 equal to 8 a3 equal to 12 and uh, c is 10 so uh, first uh, to check whether this LD is, uh, is solvable or not First, we need to find the GCD of the coefficients a1, a2, a3. So, GCD of the coefficients 6, 8, 12, that is GCD of a1, a2, a3 is equal to 2. And uh, we know 2 divides C, that is 2 divides uh, this 10, 10 equal 10 is actually our C. So, we have the GCD of 6, 8, 12 divides uh, our C. Therefore, by this previous theorem 3.20, we can say that this LDE is solvable. Now, coming to the next one, next one is 6x plus 12y plus 15 is equal to 10. Here we have a1 is equal to x uh, 6, a2 equal to 12 and a3 equal to 15 and c equal to 10. So, 
GCD of 6, 12 and 15 is nothing but 3 but we know 3 does not divide C. C is 10 here so 3 does not divide 10. So uh, it, it violates the uh, conditions uh, in theorem 3.20 that is uh, this LDA is not solvable that is it, it, this LDA has no integral solution or it is not solvable. Now next we can find general solution of uh, this LD. From the previous example we, we discussed that this LD is solvable. So now we are, we are going to find the general solution of this uh, LD. Here our aim is to find the general solution of this LD. Here we have three variables here x, y and z. So first we are going to create an LD with the two variables from this LD. So for that we have x, y plus 12z that is the second and third variables x, y plus 12z is a linear combination of this 8 and 12. Therefore it must be a multiple of the GCD of 8 and 12. We have the GCD of 8 and 12 is equal to 4. So since this 8y plus 12z is a linear combination of 8 and 12, we can express this 8y plus 12z as a multiple of the GCD that is 4. That is we can, we can write 8y plus 12z is equal to some 4 into u. That is a multiple of 4. So we obtained here LDE in two variables. That is we have 6x plus 8y plus 12z is equal to 10. So we can replace this 8y plus 12z by 4u. So we have 6x plus 4u equal to 10. Now we have obtained a LDE with two variables x and u. Now we are going to solve this. So solving this we get x equal to 5 plus 2t and u equal to minus 5 plus 3t. Because this LDE is nothing but dividing the road by 2 we have 3x plus 2u equal to 5. Now here a equal to 3, b equal to 2 and c equal to 5. So to solve this we have the GCD of a and b. GCD of a and b is equal to GCD of 3 and 2 which is equal to 1 because 3 and 2 are relatively prime. So we can express 1 as a linear combination of 2 and 3. That is we can express 1 as equal to 3 minus 2 or that is 1 into 3 minus 1 into 2. We can express 1 as a linear combination of 3 and 2. Now our aim is to solve this LDE. So here we can just multiply this equation with the Five because here c equal to 5 so uh, to obtain here 5 we can multiply this with 5 so we get 5 equal to 5 into 3 minus 5 into 2 so we can take x not equal to 5 and y not equal to minus 5 as a particular solution so we, we obtained a particular solution x not equal to 5 and u not is equal to minus 5 so after obtaining this a particular solution we have the general solution is general solution of this LD2 is nothing but x equal to x naught plus bt y equal u equal to u naught minus at. Here a equal to 3 and b equal to 2. So we have x is equal to x naught. X naught is 5 plus bt b equal to 2. So 2t. And u equal to u naught is minus 5. So minus 5 minus a t a equal to 3, 3. So this is the solution. So we obtain the solution of this LDE with the two variable x and u as x is equal to 5 plus 2t and u equal to minus 5 plus 3t. Now we can replace this value of u in this equation. A to y equal to 12z. A to y plus 12z is equal to 4 u. So replacing the value of u in this in this equation we get a to y plus 12 is that is equal to 4 into u. So u can be replaced by minus 5 plus minus 30. Now our aim is to obtain the solution of this or the general solution of this equation. So uh, for that we can just uh, first find the va value of the uh, GCD of 8 and 12. Here we have a equal to 8, b equal to z and c equal to this. right? So we have the GCD of a comma b is equal to 2. So all this. First we are finding the GCD of A and B. Here A equal to 8 and B equal to 12. So GCD of 8 and 12 is equal to 4. So we can express 4 as a linear combination of 8 and 12. Okay. So that is 4 is equal to we can express like this. 2 into 8 
plus minus 1 into 12. So we expressed this 4 as a linear combination of this 8 and 4, uh, 12. Okay. So our aim is to find a solution of this. So here we have already, uh, here C is actually 4 into this minus 5 minus 3t. So to obtain this value here, we have to multiply this equation with the minus 5 minus 3t. So multiplying this equation with the minus 5 minus 3t, we get 4 into minus 5 minus 3t equal to 8 into 2 into minus 5 minus 3t that is minus 10 minus 60 uh, plus 12 into minus 1 into minus 5 minus 3t that is 5 plus 3t this is plus so 5 plus 3t into 12 here so we have the particular solution of this LDE 3 is nothing but y naught is equal to this minus 10 minus 60 and z naught is equal to here 5 plus 3t so by theorem 3.19 we have the general solution of this equation number 3 or equation number 1 both are same equation is nothing but x equal to x naught plus b by d t and y equal to y naught minus a by d t here here the uh, variables are y and z so we have the solution is nothing but y naught plus b by d t and y uh, this is y equal to y naught plus b by d t and z is equal to z naught minus a by d t where a equal to 8 and b equal to 12 and d is the gcd of a and b so that is d equal to 4 here so we have this b by d is nothing but b equal to 12 so b by d is equal to 12 by 4 that is equal to 3 and a by d is nothing but a equal to 8 that is 8 by d is 4 that is 2 so we have the solution has this form the general solution of this equation or the equation number 1 has the form y equal to uh, y naught is minus 10 plus minus 60 plus some uh, b by dt that is 3 into t dash because we used already t so we, we can use 3 dash uh, t dash and z is equal to z naught plus that is z naught is 5 plus 3t 5 plus 3t uh, minus a by dt a by d is 2 so 2 into t dash so this is the general solution of this equation 8y plus 12z e equal to 4u. So the general solution of the given diaphragm equation is nothing but x is equal to 5 plus 2t that is that we obtained here x equal to 5 plus 2t and y equal to minus 10 minus 60 minus uh, plus 3t dash and z is equal to 5 plus 3t minus 2t dash where t and t dash are arbitrary integers.